Hey y'all, welcome back. Okay, before you judge, I know my face looks a little crazy. I don't have brows on, don't have eyeliner or mascara. I went ahead and did everything else. If you wanna know what I used, y'all can go shop through my makeup link. But the reason I don't have brows and liner on is because today we're gonna try these puppies out. My lips, lips look so chapped. A little bit better. Okay, so. This company called iMethod Beauty reached out to me and they wanted me to try their products. So I said, okay, send me your product and I will try it out for you. They also gave me a coupon code for 15% off. If we end up liking this and thinking it's worth it, I'm not going to say it's worth it just because they sent it to me for free. I'm going to be honest. So if I don't like it, I'm going to tell y'all. Y'all know this is an honest review. But if we do like it, use this code and y'all can get 15% off your order. So I will drop my link in the description or you can shop up here and use this code and you'll get 15% off. Okay, so this is an eyebrow stamp and stencil kit and we also have a waterproof, smudge proof, long lasting eyeliner stamp. Let's jump right into this. Also, if you like my shirt, um, this shirt will be linked down below. Might throw it up here too. Shop through my link and get 20% off of your order as well. Okay, do we want to try the stamp, the eyebrow, or let's try the eyebrow first. Thank God they made an easy pull tab and it actually works. Most of the time I have to struggle. So the color they sent me is 09, some sort of brown, I hope. Okay, so it looks like we got the actual eyebrow stamp. Oh, it twists, so don't sit here and pull it all day long like me. Ooh, this is nifty. The inside has the color, and mine looks like a dark brown, and then there's a little sponge that goes into it, so every time you close it, it gets more product on there, which is neat to stamp. Okay, you also get a little spoolie brush and a little eyebrow brush. You get all these different stencils. Definitely picking out the right stencil is gonna be the hardest part. But once you have it picked out, you know which one to go to every day. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one, which is called Classic. So, there's way too many options. I feel like I need to like pull my hair back. Okay, okay, here goes nothing. So basically all you do is you take your little stamper and you hold your stencil on, make sure it's lined up where you want it. And I'm going to start at the outside because I want the in, inner brow to fade. And we start stamping. Okay, the color looks pretty good. Woo! Okay, that's a little crisp. My line got off a little bit because my brow is down here. Um, but not bad, actually. If I can blend the front a little bit, I'm just going to take my spoolie and kind of like blend that a little bit. That's actually not a bad brow, not going to lie. Also, um, I think what you can do is take this little brush here and dip it into this product. If you have an area you want to touch up a little more. I have this spot here that always, I think I have a scar or something under my hair. It's always just like bald. You can definitely also touch up some areas if you want to. Not bad at all. That is a pretty good brow, y'all. Let's try the other side. And hopefully I won't get off of off the track on the other side because this side I got a little off. Not gonna lie. But it was my first time, so let's try it again. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it before I hold my stamp. So to use the other side, you have to wipe that product off. I just grab a little makeup wipe and do this number here. Okay. And we're ready to go. Flip it to do the other side. So here we go. Let's not get off track on this side. Okay, that looks right. Start about in the middle and work my way out forward. All right. I think I need a little more product, so I'm going to go ahead and dip back into that to do this patch. I always get like a patch in the front on this side for some reason. It looks super crispy when you first take it off, so don't freak out. But as soon as you use your spoolie and kind of brush it and blend it, okay, this brow looks way better. 
This one, as you can see, I got off track, but this one is perfect with my line of my hair. Pull in the front a little. For this to be a stamp and you don't have to think about it, um, if you're someone who struggles with knowing where to put your brows, how big to make them, how to make them even, lining them up, this is for you because, I mean, literally, y'all saw how fast it took me. Like, no time to do that. Um, so when you're done, you just push this back in here and close it. How cool! I love this. I tried out another brow stamp y'all saw, the Brow Trio. I really liked it too. The only difference in these, I think, is I like the stamper way better. If you didn't watch the other brow video, go check it out. But with that one, um, the stamper and the like brow gel or pomade or whatever was separate. So you had to physically like open two containers to stamp it. This is super neat that it's all in one. How convenient is that? I mean, you just, it's just like you're closing and open it and it stamps it for you. One tool here. That is neat. I also really love all these um, stencils that they gave you. So if this shape, if you try out a shape and you think, eh, I don't know if that shape worked for me. There are so many options. There's something for everybody. I don't even know how many are here. So y'all, we got 20 stencils. These are some good brows for just stamping them on in like two minutes. Let's move on and try out the eyeliner stamp. So again, super easy pull tab. This thing I'm curious about because... I don't know about liner stamp. It comes with a little instruction thing. There's also instructions on the side of the box. Oh, okay. So they send you two. They send you a left and a right because obviously the wing is going to be going a different direction for each eye. And then each one also has an eyeliner in it. So basically you're getting two eyeliner pins and then a stamp for each side. This is what the stamper looks like. Y'all see this? Okay, so if you struggle with getting eyeliner straight or even or not knowing how to do a wing, this might be the thing. We gonna see. All right, so line it up with basically like right here where your eye lashes end. We're gonna line up this tip. You can angle it different ways, but you kind of want to angle it up a little so that it makes your eye look lifted and not droopy. I'm so nervous. Why am I so nervous? Here we go. Oh, I'm so nervous about this. I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. I don't know. I hope I'm doing this right. Press firmly. We've committed. It's too late now, y'all. I don't know. Okay, there's a little wing, kind of a wing. Other end is our felt tip liner, and then we're just gonna kinda connect where the end of that stopped into our lash line. Okay, I do really like this felt tip liner, not gonna lie. Um, as far as this goes, I feel like I didn't get a good crisp wing. Don't know. Y'all let me know what you think. I don't know. Let's try the other side. Maybe I'll do a better job this time. Am I using the wrong side? Left wing. Well, this is my left, so. Okay, here we go. Okay, that one worked really good. I think I pressed too hard on this side because I didn't feel like it was going to show up and I like messed it up myself. Y'all, look at that. You don't have to press that hard at all. That's what I did wrong on this side. Look at that, y'all. Look at that wing. That was so easy. Okay, let's draw on. Let's fill in the rest. Okay. So you can definitely see this wing is a lot more crisp and looks a little better than this side because this side turned kind of into a blob because I pressed too hard. I am a little shocked at how well that worked. Okay, how do we feel about that wing? Let's throw on some mascara to get the full effect here. You would, you would get mascara all over your eyelid right now. Okay. I threw a little bit of mascara on just to kind of get the full effect. I feel like it's a pretty good wing, y'all. I'm not going to lie. I struggled with this side. When I did this side, I was like, uh, okay. So I definitely think this thing would work if you practice with it a couple times. Like I said, first time I did it, I pressed too hard and it kind of got misshaped. This side, I pressed just, you know, slightly. It was perfect. Going forward, now I know the pressure to use, and that is a pretty good wing. Um, they look pretty even to me, like the angle, angle-wise. 
Normally when you do a wing, you'll have like one going up here and one going straight. That helps make the angle the same, helps make the length the same. I'm pretty impressed. I think now that I know how hard to press. As for the brows, I love, I love the convenience of this thing. If you struggle with getting even brows, this is basically a little foolproof system for it. Also, once it sets, um, it seems to be very, like I'm using a makeup wipe and it's like, I'm having to scrub. So once it sets, it's, I don't think your brows are going anywhere. Okay, y'all can let me know what y'all think down in the comments below, but I think I'm pleasantly surprised. I would definitely recommend the brow pot product, the eyeliner stamp. I'm probably gonna try it again now that I know how to use it, how hard to press down. Pretty impressed with both products, actually. Like I said, use this code. You can get 15% off of your order if you wanna go grab one of these or both of these. That is it for today's video, y'all. I hope you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one.